So in this interview, we have the Binance CEO, CZ, and we also have Mark Cuban talking about altcoins and how they could potentially be listed onto Binance and what are the steps. So what could this mean for Elon Gate? Could Elon Gate potentially become listed on Binance? You know, so there's a lot of shifting money around and a lot of chasing money. And it's a game of musical chair, chairs at some level, with, you know, right? And, and so when somebody can't pay the toll or somebody can't, you know, when you get tokens who aren't exchanged, then it's going to be a problem. So what I think is going to happen, I'd be curious what your thoughts are. I think new tokens are going to have to bank. They're going to have to put up, you know, stable coins to say, you know, for, and maybe there's, it's happening already. Binance, I need for you to change the, to, to do swaps on this. And so I'll put up a million um, stable coins, you know, tethered to the USD, and um, you'll trade this for me. And as long as everything mm -hmm. works, I'll make up your deficit. Are you guys starting to see that at all, or do you just do it based off of volume and interest? So, uh, so there's a couple of points you mentioned there which are quite interesting. Um, so I, I fully agree with the fact that uh, I think DeFi will stay, the liquidity pools will stay, but the token incentives, the new token incentives with high APYs, I always said that that's not going to last. Um, I, I think you put it in a different way. It's just sort of pushing money, pushing risk uh, into different places. So, um, and... Um, uh, there will be a few projects who can uh, last, who can who can get users, and then they will have lasting value, and their tokens their tokens will have value. But that's uh, they may have bootstrapped themselves from using a token to be an incentive to get some more users. But fundamentally, just giving high APYs uh, on new tokens doesn't doesn't work uh, in the long run. Um, and on the um, on the, on the uh, so we have a concept which is basically what you described. Um, on Binance.com, uh, for the projects that we're not so certain, uh, for especially newer, higher risk projects, we actually ask the project to make a security deposit with us before we list them. So, right. uh, so this is not a listing fee. We tell we tell them, look, there's a few conditions. If you don't trigger them, we return the, we return the uh, insurance deposit uh, over. Yeah, a period kind of of time. Like, I mean, when you do that, you play you you know you're doing your own version of DeFi, right? And you've got yeah. to over collateralize the new token. It's just yeah. makes perfect business sense. You got to do it. Yeah, so uh, so we actually do have that for some of the listings. Um, it depends, like some hot coins, like for example Uniswap, we we just listed it because it's a very hot project. Right. Um, but for for other pro for other smaller, less popular projects, uh, we're less certain, especially new ones. We do ask for it, and if their price drops significantly, we we uh, we, uh, we we come well, we we take away the the insurance if they. The security hacks or if the security issues, um, uh, uh, double spends or roll, uh, rollbacks on the blockchain, we also uh, could suffer damages, etc. So we do have that concept. So we can see that the Binance CEO, CZ, says some very interesting things that could potentially impact the listing of Elongate on Binance in the future. And essentially what he said is that they're going to need a security deposit from Elongate and new projects because they are very early on and there's a lot of risk in these projects. And this is actually something that we see with a lot of major exchanges. They require a security deposit in order to be listed on the exchange. Therefore, we can see that they're actually receiving crowdfunding from people and their supporters to be listed on exchanges. And in turn, this is going to massively expand elongate in general therefore they're going to have a more massive audience and a lot more people buying into elongate which will make elongate go ridiculously high in price so elongate is doing what it takes to be listed on these major exchanges and i do believe that elongate will be listed on binance and it will be listed on coinbase and men once this does happen in the future in potentially a couple of months you can see elongate reaching a very high market cap of over a billion dollars and as of right now, its market cap is so small that it has no data. So we are very early on, and I do think that this will be the right time to buy into Elon Gate. And Satoshi Street Vets actually released a poll stating which of the following coins will get the biggest gains in this year. 24-hour poll. Do you think it will be SafeMoon, Hoge, FEG, or Elon Gate? The cryptocurrency named after the richest man in the world. I'm going to go with Elon Gate. So we can see that Elongate is actually receiving competition from SafeMoon. But one thing we have to understand is that SafeMoon has over 90,000 followers on Twitter already. And Elongate only has 9k. Therefore, this is actually a very good sign that Elongate is bullish and people believe in Elongate. So if we do look at the trading volume of Elongate, we can see that it's at 5 million. 
That means there's a ton of people buying and selling Elongate. And when you have a cryptocurrency that has a small market cap, but it has a very large trading volume, that is always a good sign that it has massive moon potential. Mark Cuban is about to say some things about altcoins that could potentially spell the future for Elon Gate. So you're definitely going to want to hear what he has to say. Because right now we see, we, we look at the price of a token as reflecting the success of the underlying um, applic application, right? And that's not really the way it should be, right? That's, again, back at half horse. And so yeah. we pull out all these hype games are, going, are being played. And like I said, it's fun to track the value of BNB versus this versus that, right, versus Ethereum. And we use that as a reflection of the quality of the underlying technology, but it's not, right? Mm -hmm. And that's part of the challenges right now because longer term, the winners are going to be the ones with the best technology that can enable the most applications and be the most disruptive. And at its heart, you know, blockchain is incredibly disruptive. Smart contracts are incredibly disrupted, particularly because they're public. And, you know, we don't need to rehash. You guys all know that. And so I'm, I'm looking to see where, where the best places are to say, okay, you know, you guys talk about the price of tokens. That's all noise, right? You know, not, you know, the money's real money, right? When you talk about the multi-billion dollar valuations and everybody in this industry does the exact same thing that we did back in the early internet days when we were public, which is mark to market, right? I own this many tokens, you know, what's, how much am I worth today and all that kind of stuff. And that's human nature. But three years from now, four years from now, when to your point, CZ, all that market has gone up and down and, you know, bear market, bull market and all these different cycles, great technology will be sustained and there will be applications written on them that change the game. And that's really what I look for. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I talk about price a lot. Well, not, number one, because it actually helps our business when people care more about price because it sure. creates more trading activity. Um, but I, and also a little bit, as you mentioned earlier, a little bit of hype at the beginning is actually quite important to bootstrap the value of the coin, which actually gives the project more resources to work with. Uh, then more funds to hire developers, etc. You, you keep on issuing coins, right? And you get to pay yeah. you know, your APY, you know, yeah. and it, it, it's kind of crazy. But let me yeah. just remember, remind everybody of this. You know, one of the best lines ever, the, the risk does not leave the system, right? Yeah. It gets pushed around a lot, but it yeah. never leaves the system. And yeah. so, you know, it, it'll be interesting to see how it all plays out. Yeah, absolutely. Mark Cuban has basically just said, that a cryptocurrency's price is not necessarily a reflection of the value that it has. So as of right now, I look at Elongate, I see that although it was first started out as a joke, and it has the hype that it needs, just like CZ, the founder of Binance, said a little bit of hype in the beginning is never bad, and Elongate has the hype. But does that hype yet reflect on Elongate's price? I do not think so, and I think it has a lot more potential and has a long way to go in terms of its price. I think it can go another 10x within the foreseeable future. And we can see that CZ, the founder of Binance, has said a little bit of hype in a new project is never a bad thing. And Elon Gate has that hype, it has that spark, and man, it's pouring fuel on that spark and it is going high. And the developers are the ones that are pouring that fuel. They're giving it the energy, the life that it needs to continue to skyrocket in price and potentially reach new highs in the future. But Mark Cuban also said there's always risk and that risk never leaves and that is entirely true. So Elon Gate has the potential to go very high in price but the risk never leaves the system and for these reasons I do think that Elon Gate will be the next cryptocurrency of the world. Are you interested in making big money with cryptocurrencies and you want to take your investing to the next level but you don't know where to get started? The difference between sitting at home on a couch and living your dream life could potentially be by becoming a Patreon. We have daily 100x altcoin picks that involve a lot of risk but a lot of potential to turn 10,000 into 1 million dollars. It's time to make a change in our lives and I'm here to guide you in that path. With just a $5 investment, you can take your crypto investing to the next level. This is a limited time offer. What if I told you that there was a guaranteed way that you could make free money? And it's exactly the same thing as purchasing a lottery ticket 
with higher chances of you winning thousands of dollars. For a limited time, Webull is offering two free stocks, and all you have to do is sign up. The clock is ticking, and they won't be doing this for much longer. Link in bio.